Hello my friends, in this video we will build PC by using modern hardware. This PC build price for me was 1000 euro. But you can get this PC cheaper or expensive, depends from what country you are. In my case I took some parts in a discount period. Power supply in our build from Chief Tech Company. This is a not bad model, GPS600A and A, has 85 plus certificate and all needed cables. Two discs in our system. First from Seagate, model Barracuda on 1000 gigs for heavy games, second SSD on 240 gigs for Windows, memory RAM we have 60 gigs of DDR4 memory, two models on 8 gigs each from team group model Vulcan, memory frequency is 2666 MHz, motherboard on LGA 1151, motherboard from MSI company, model name B360M Bazooka, this is a good MOBA for its money, has all modern inputs, has a good cooling system can overlock memory and looks good. CPU in our build is Intel Core i7-8700. CPU has a 6 cores and 12 threads and 4.6 in turbo. Amazing CPU on Coffee Lake architecture. For its money I consider this a good option. And the most expensive part in our PC build. GPU from Nvidia company from Inno 3D RTX 2060 on 6 gigs of VRAM. This graphic card has a 1-8 pin power connector. In overall this is a not bad and pretty balanced system. The price can be different depends from where you're living. Let's check some modern line games and heavy projects. The video record by using the graphic card. Without video recording you can see more on 3 to 5 fps. The third game on our test is CSGO, obviously. In this game you will see big amount of FPS. This game is old and you can run it even on your smartphone. All settings I set on high and full HD resolution. We are playing on Dust 2 and 10 vs 10 players. In average we have here 270 FPS. At the same time CPU loads on 30%, graphic card loads on 60%. We can see that the game can work only with couple of cores. In that game I would say our system is shilling, no any lags or freezes confirmed. The frame graph looks straight and good. And this I know to you on a high settings. On the low settings you will see more than 300 fps I believe. Second game on our test is Fortnite. All settings on Epic, which means the most high in that game. Resolution we have here 1912 to 1080. This game had lots of threads, but prefer also only 3 or 4 cores. The middle FPS here is around 130. Minimum FPS was 100 and one, which I consider as a good result. The graphic card loads on 96%, at the same time CPU loads only on 35. So for me this result is enough for 144 MHz monitor. But like in CSGO, not too much players are playing on, in Fortnite on that settings. People usually set settings on middle. In that case I believe you will see more than 150 FPS, which is absolutely enough for convenient gameplay. The next game on our test is Apex Legends. Although in system requires we can see i3. The game demands even powerful systems. All settings also on high and full HD resolution. The average FPS we have 90, minimum 65. Should understand that in this game FPS is very random. It can take up to 100 and down to 60. Graphic card loads on 95%. CPU loads only on 40%. The frame time and graph looks good. No any lags or freezes confirmed. And I did not feel it. But I assume that almost nobody using that setting. I believe that if you down settings you can see more than 100 fps. But for me all these results looks good.
The next game on our test is PUBG, the game which works weird on any system, but I was positively surprised. All settings on Ultra and Full HD resolution. As we can see, this game can't load all threads. It uses only 6 cores. CPU loads only on the 30%. Graphic card loads almost on 97%. The average FPS, we have 97 minimum 70, which for me on these settings is a good result. The frame graph, which usually has a problem also looks good in PUBG. The frame time not high, game responsive, no any lags or freezes confirmed. But again, we have a video reckoning plus ultra settings, which is using not too much people I believe. Usually players pick middle to high settings, so I consider that our system overcome that game. The next game on our test is GTA 5. All settings I put on high and full HD resolution. I turned on all anti-aliasing and DirectX 11. This game should work good with multi-core CPUs. The average FPS we have here 90. Minimum FPS was 66. The maximum was more than 100 FPS. The CPU loads as we can see on 55%. Graphic card came to 97. The frame graph looks almost perfect and straight. No any lags or freezes confirmed. The the FPS time also looks good for single player game that kind of type this is enough the picture quality looks good so with that game or CPU cop 12 The next game on our test is new Far Cry. All settings on Ultra and Full HD resolution. Let's run games benchmark. You should understand that inside the game you will see more FPS. After benchmark we can see that result. Minimum FPS is 53. Average FPS we have 92. Maximum FPS was up to 124. And this is all on Ultra settings I remind you. At the same time we had video record by using video card. The graphic card was loaded on 97%. CPU at the same same time loads on 40 percentage. This means that the game used GPU more than CPU. No any lags I did not see. It was only one short FPS drop to 53. But this is a benchmark. So for me our system runs well that game. Last game on our test is Shadow of Tomb Raider. I wanted to use DSLR technology. Unfortunately, I did not know how to turn it on. All settings on very high. At the same time, I turned on HBAO Plus, which I hope is DSLR. Let's run the benchmark. Do not forget about video recording from graphic card. Inside the game, you also will see more FPS. As a result, we have 82 FPS in average, which is for me, I believe, it's a good result. Even if DSLR did not work, in my case, the picture quality was amazing, I think. CPU loaded on 80%, graphic card loaded up to 90%. At the same time, no any lags or freezes confirmed. I had only one FPS drop, but this was FPS drop for a short time. In overall, inside the game without video recording, I believe everything will be okay. So you can play in Shadow of Tomb Raider on ultra settings on that system. Thanks everyone for watching my video, in case of price to performance, I consider this is a good result. You can play in modern games on ultra settings, in full HD resolution and do not think about your FPS. But as we can see, we have bottleneck from graphic card, the CPU ready to work with much powerful GPU. Please subscribe on my channel, write your thoughts in the comments and see you in the next video.